require you to make three deliveries using our ramen drones. If you fail to make a delivery in time, a small percentage will be deducted from your payment. Ramen drones? I bet it's not even ramen they're carrying. Please, be careful with the drones. They can be difficult to control. If one of the drones is destroyed, you will not receive any payment for that delivery. I'll do my best. I really thought I had graduated from menial tasks. Hive, what can you tell me about Avonrest? Unfortunately, there is nothing in my latest iteration on Avonrest. If you had allowed me to update, I would perhaps be able to tell you more. least ascertain that it is an unofficial category of location, given there is no record. on some anger space. Do you have an appointment? Not really. I was just open to knock around. Well, the Coalition operates a clean enterprise, so we don't want any trouble, okay? Huh. The Coalition running the place and no trouble? That's a change for them. I'll have to ask Alec what happened between him and these guys. I detect heightened outlaw activity circling these coordinates. It is likely that you will become involved in a raid, should you choose to dock here. Found me again. Look, I just want to talk. Where is Dax? Where's his body? I buried him on Rhodia Station. The base? So you know. Don't shoot. I have something to show you. I'm going to reach into my belt. Slowly. His biochip. How can I be sure it wasn't you who killed him for that? I shared a cell with him and we escaped together. I helped him get the base set up again while he made plans to reach you. Give me that thing. Ah! <sighs> you got me. I guess I ain't as spry as I used to be. Yeah, right. How about I ask the questions now? This chip, what does it lead to? You mean he didn't tell you? Dax offered me a cut. Said it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
And this rig you're building here just confirms to me that it's a big Viridian mining operation. Hold on there, fella. Don't you know what the Okar would do if they heard there was even talk about Viridium mining? Strictly prohibited by the treaty. Look, are we gonna cooperate or not? What are you doing? Well, you seem like a decent enough kind of guy. Come on upstairs and let's have a proper talk. You've come at the worst possible time or the best possible time. I ain't sure yet. But I do know I'm short on friends at the moment. With the Okar on the threshold about to kick the door down, and from what I hear, the G&B scouts chasing down rumors of my whereabouts, things are looking tight. Have a drink. The craft that took out Dax had a G&B signature. Mm, that's no surprise, but to be honest, I got everyone breathing down my neck at the moment, and the local situation here is getting bad. The Okar are becoming pretty testy. Yeah, I know, and I can't launch. If they get one sniff of this rig, my ass is grass. So, you came all this way. What's your big plan? Uh, no, this is as far as the plan got. Ah, damn it. I was hoping you had an idea. Tell me, this Viridium find, think it's worth it? Oh, hell yeah. I've been waiting years for this. One quick excavation and we'd be set for life. And all you need to do is get this freighter off the settlement without the Okar seeing you. I'll have to figure out some way to slip you out unnoticed. Boy, you are gonna be one of the richest men in the galaxy. So you've spent years putting this freighter together. Yep, while well, Dax was back at the base twiddling his thumbs. But it was all part of the plan to keep the team separate until the time was right. Who else is in your team? You don't need to worry about that right now. Unless you get me off this station, the plot ends here. I hate to say it, but that won't be easy. You're flying a Viridian mining rig. The Okar can smell a setup like this from light sex away. You seem to know a lot about these things. Any ideas on how to fix it? Well, the only way to fool the Okar would be to encrypt all sensory information coming from your ship. Optics, chemistry, it even needs to taste like cheap steel when you lick it. You'd need something like a material encryptor. That's right. You know that sort of tech doesn't really exist, at least not out here. And that's wrong. There's at least one person who designs such things, but uh, both Cato and I have always been careful not to do business with him. I think I know where this is going. Hey. You're good at pestering people. You even got me to come around. This guy has a station near the ice planet Volta. Follow these coordinates and you'll find it. You know, I'm putting my faith in you over this, Maddox. Like I said, it'll be worth it.
Really? I was more surprised to run into the Coalition. They seem to be running the place now. Weren't they your gang once? Back when they, uh, were still a gang? Yeah, they changed. Went mercantile. I had a meaningful sit-down with Bing Yun, the chief. At least that's what she called it. And we mutually agreed that my skills would be better applied elsewhere. So you parted on good terms? Well, she smiled when they waved me off, so I'd say yeah. Part of my kin still live on that station along with some very good people. A lot of them broke, stranded, and can't get home. Hey, why not tell them I said hi? I'll do that. Just need to get through another gig first. Always busy, that man. I respect that. jumped into empty space? Uh, because there's a space station over there? My sensors detect nothing. Good day there, Adam Rosslyn. It's been a while since I had a clone come for a visit. Okay, I don't like where this is going. Where what is going? I need you to focus. Run your sensors again. What is this place? Mostly, it's just smoke and mirrors. All it takes is a wave of my hand. My sensors are overclocking. And it's gone. You may call me Fallon Pango. How can I help you, Adam? Cut the act. Don't mess with my ship. And how the hell do you know about me? As secrets go in the DMZ, yours is not a very big one. Just take the Colonial Fleet. They can't post warrants for you since no one is supposed to know that you exist, but they still talk about you a lot. That doesn't answer my question. You could say that I simply like to listen to the waves passing through the ether while I tinker away on my devices. You can't just turn on the radio and tune into encrypted fleet talk. You're some kind of hacker. Who else knows about me? That depends and why you've come to see me all the way out here. I'm looking for a material encryptor. For whom? Can't say. Tit for tat. Nicely done. I can offer you a version for 20 credits, the other for 2 million. Both do exactly the same. Then what's the difference? The cheap one is sponsored by a third-party provider. The premium price is exactly what it would cost without the sponsorship. I am not buying the one for two mil. Of course. I'll just remove it from my loadout then. This is the hardware module. The drivers are transferred directly to your ship. Thanks for doing business. My pleasure. Take care, Adam.
tired of being picked on? Then why not treat yourself to a Salver Pulse 9000? Salver Armament Group. Because even a loser deserves a good laser. Who's that? The signal is emanating from my own systems. <sighs> Serves me right for buying cheap scrap from a hacker. I am running diagnostics. Attempt jumping again. Ouch, my teeth! Sorry, kid, but you've got cavities. Oh, again? But don't worry, try Footnax. Footnax hand lotion. Your teeth deserve it. The messages are triggered by the new software. Can you disable them? Not without deleting the entire package and rendering the encryptor useless. I need to have another word with that Fallon Pango guy. Tell me that the encryptor came with ads. As I said, its main component is very rare. It's the only way I'm able to sell it for such a low price. If you cannot pay, you either have to live with the commercials or find a replacement. What kind of replacement are we talking about? A very bold one. If you feel adventurous, you can go to these coordinates. You will immediately know what I want when you see it. In the meantime, I'll remove the cheap module from your ship. Guess I have no other choice. that you have the ability to care? In some instances, yes. Yet, there are other instances where I am required to remain distant in order to protect my operational integrity. So emotions can overcome you, is what you're saying? Hive units have been known to overload in emotionally distressing situations and experience something akin to a nervous breakdown. Yes. Interesting. this time.
entrance is blocked. You will require a detonator to get through. Didn't I see a G&B dig site when we flew in? Bet I can borrow one from them. I assume steel one would be the more appropriate phrasing. This isn't an ordinary mining operation. Hive, do you see that? If by that you are referring to the ancient structure up ahead, I will be able to offer some information. The ancients were believed to be higher beings, distantly related to and revered by the Oka. They ruled over a powerful and far-reaching empire, yet they mysteriously vanished from historical record some millennia ago. You don't have to tell me. I painfully remember our previous encounters with them. GB should know better than to risk a run-in with an ancient warden.
working hive. I do not have modes, but modes. Activating indoor navigation mode. Ah, oh, don't pretend you can't be moody, my friend. You may even be the moodiest AI I've... Activating pilot ignoring mode. Deeper and deeper into a long-lost alien cave. regarding anything like it. be the place the Bovis hacker asked you to find. I'm afraid you're right about this. Any signs of some incredibly rare object nearby? My sensors are unable to detect anything in here. It would appear you are on your own. into place. Interesting.
there must be some logic to the distribution of these boxes. Maybe if you calculate all possible solutions, you could come up with an answer. Or just have a look around and figure out the only one that works.
choosing with that cube. So forsaken warden! Some distance. Phew. 
was still alive. This warden was different than the ones we encountered in the past. For one, it did not posthumously turn into a black hole. Yeah, I remember. Better wrap things up around here before it remembers too. Ten to one, but this is what the hacker's looking for. Time to get out before another warden shows up. Let's take whatever this thing is back to the hacker and never come back here. I agree. fun. Let's head back to Fallon Pango. what you wanted? You found it. Care to swap this for a material encryptor? Certainly, but please be careful with it. It took me a long time to perfect it. Say, with all this information you're hoarding, what can you tell me about a man called Maddox? I assume you're referring to Henley Maddox, the comrade of Dexter Bashar, whose signature was broadcast alongside yours when you were held by Bloodstar. That's the guy. I don't know much. He's a very private person, and always avoided doing business with me. I understand he killed his superior during the recent war, and is now searching for something very valuable. But the only objects of real value are ancient things, like the one you just brought to me. Ancient and dangerous. The Okar guarding these artifacts closely. By the way, you may care to know that they are already on the move. Who? The Okar? Yes, a raid on Avonrest. It's been on the wavelengths for some time now. Since that's where you flew in from when coming here, I assume that is where your friend is hiding. Oh, scrap, gotta go. Don't be a stranger, Adam.
on their way. He is not responding. Let's just hope he's ignoring me and the Okar haven't gotten to him yet. settlement occupants. We are conducting a routine raid. Do not hinder our access to storage facilities and vessels. Scrap! The Okar are already here. I need to get to Maddox's hangar and transfer the software before they can scan him. You have no authority to barge in on us like this. We are a peaceful settlement. You made it back. If the Okar figure out what kind of ship I got here, I'm toast. Did you get the encryptor? Yeah, transferring it as we speak. Great. Now the Okar will probably register a change to the roster once I upload this to my systems. Try to keep them off my back long enough so I can get the whole shebang running. I'm not so sure about taking on the Okar. They'll be here any minute. Come on, kid. We're in this together now. Once I'm out, I'll meet you back at Rhodia Station as soon as I can make it. Well, all right. Let's do this thing. Did a register change in one of your vessels. Engage units for intercept. Check again. None of my people would. Oh, scrap Maddox, you idiot! We should have never taken you in. Okay, Adam. The encryptor just started overriding my systems. Shouldn't be long before I can launch. Here comes the lizard parade.
level of trouble you are in is without precedent. Scrap, I'm screwed. Awake. We meet again, Mr. Roslin. Um... Oh, what? We haven't? I can never tell anymore. So many crossed paths. Anyway, I am well acquainted with you in the Roslin line. My ship? Is in the docking bay, returned by the Okar authorities who handed it over to me along with your good self. It was you who raided the Bloodstar base. Yes, looking for you. I've had quite a difficult time finding you. You need me for something, or I'd be dead already. Acutely observed, Mr. Roslin. After all, you shouldn't exist. Part of my remit was to erase every trace of the Roslin cloning facilities in the DMZ. Hundreds of loose cannons like you roaming the region and causing problems. Something had to be done about it. I can't help what I am. Don't expect pity from me. It's lucky for you that more serious matters are afoot. Pull up case file G72-844. Do you know who this is? Uh, yeah, Oscar Blakemore. He's the GMB director for all the DMZ operations. Good. And this? I only heard about it, haven't been there. Vesna mining colony in the Zarkov system. GMB regional headquarters. Good. So you seem to have some idea of the astropolitical situation in the DMZ. Look, what's this about? This is about you, Mr. Roslin. That isn't me. No, but that is Adam Roslin, Blakemore's right hand. You want me to be him. Exactly. I need you to infiltrate the mining colony as the other Adam Roslin and gather some information for me. And in return? I let your base stand. I let you live. I guess that's good enough incentive. I think I might have encountered him. When? Not long ago. The jump gate at Union Bridge. Well, it must have been him, since you are the only two Roslin clones remaining. Only two? That's right. The cloning stations have been offline for some time now, and many clones were identified and intercepted attempting to reach the homeworlds. We couldn't have that, could we? And now there is just the other Adam Roslin, who is an agent for GNB, and you, who I can't really figure out yet. You are already in a difficult position. It is time to be clear about your allegiances. You can rehabilitate yourself with the fleet and we can leave you in peace. Or, I can put you and your companions on a high-priority eliminate list. Which will it be? I would take the common sense approach. Good. I have someone on the inside at the mining colony. She'll walk you through. So, we have an understanding. Yeah. I am pleased that our little discussion has proven to be a constructive one. Using the main jump gate to the Zarkov system where Vesta Mining Colony is located will not be an option, as you will be immediately registered. There's a smuggler's route I've heard of. I know someone who can get me through. 
Of course you do. Our agent will send you instructions once you are through to the system. My technicians have uploaded further instructions to your hive unit. You will require some extra coaching in order to convincingly portray the other Roslyn. In the meantime, you and I will need to maintain radio silence until the task is finished. If you are discovered, I will deny any knowledge of your existence. And as a fugitive Roslyn clone, I will be obligated to hunt you down. I have no intention of getting caught. Having a colonial cruiser this close to your home base may cause irritation for your companions. You're right. I better check on them. Adam? What the heck is going on? Why is there a great big colonial cruiser at our door? They were my ride home. I realize this looks bad, but maybe we can play things to our advantage. First things first, has Maddox shown up? You were expecting more company? I was hoping, but maybe it was too much to expect a mercenary like Maddox to follow through. Circumstances have changed. I'm in a real bind now. I need to do a top secret job for the fleet. If I pull this off, we'll be given some kind of reprieve from the colonial authorities. But I don't know to what extent that means, or if I can trust this commissioner. God damn it, Adam. What have you gotten us into? Hey, Alec. Back when I was delivering the Red Plasma Gin, you mentioned that there was a smuggler's route open to Zarkov? Where's it located? No idea, but I'm sure Tarjak, that Okar bootlegger, would know if anyone did. Okay, I'm heading to Cartwright's Wake to catch up with him. You might not hear from me for a while. If Maddox shows up, tell him to sit tight. We'll hold the fort. Let us know when you need bailing out.